Good evening and welcome to the stream. This is uh, R7, I believe, of our playthrough of Zack McCracken on the Amiga. Uh, again, on the real hardware Amiga 4000 Tower. Second stream on real hardware. I've uh, spent quite a bit of time continuing to set it up. And, uh, It's getting there, slowly but surely. So, turn Pretzel on. The game doesn't really have all that much music or sound, but uh, when it does, it's, uh, it's quite necessary to hear it. I've uh, created my trusty uh, Marshall headphones for this uh, white wireless pair. reason for that is uh, I was using it on the uh, on the Amiga 4000 to uh, to listen to the sound output and uh, I accidentally uh, rolled the computer case over the headphone cord and uh, basically almost cut it in half so it's the end of the Marshall I happen to have this pair I don't regularly use it for streaming because uh, I can't use it to monitor my own voice tell if, uh, if my uh, headphone is okay or not, but uh, I'll have to get used to it. So it is a little bit more comfortable not to have the cord stuck to my head. I'll take that luxury. The game is ready to go. <laughs> Loaded the uh, save since last time. We were, uh, We had uh, done quite a bit, and uh, I think we've basically done all that we need to do on Earth at this point. I think our next step is to go to Mars, and uh, last we restarted the game from scratch and made it all the way over here. Uh, I discovered after uh, stream number five that uh, we had in fact uh, done some things which had locked us in. So. I looked up all the different ways you could soft lock yourself and found that we had indeed soft locked ourselves in uh, two different ways at least. Uh, we should not be locked in at this point. We've never uh, gone to the girls on Mars. Uh, I have a feeling that the next stage of the game are the last crystal for this infernal machine that uh, we're assembling in this screenshot here is indeed there. Uh, what we've done here is uh, we've assembled a power unit on top and the chandelier that we found in the other eye using uh, the yellow crystal as a traveling device on earth. Uh, my feeling is that uh, the next step is to switch to Melissa. side of Mars. I'm getting a little tired of waiting here for instructions. Yeah, this place is boring. Got a great beach, but no water and no guys. We should have gone to Fort Lauderdale for spring break like everyone else. It would have taken us two days instead of two months. I wouldn't have gotten sick every time I looked out the window. And zero gravity, that sure was a mess. Yeah, I can imagine. Now. Hey there, one my conca, welcome in. I like to verify that uh, 
but the uh, the program that is picking up the text from Twitch is actually working. I have a a program called Fontificator which uh, connects to Twitch and uh, fetches the chat for the display, and uh, it can sometimes fail to connect, which is why I always do this test. That's uh. Pilfer the inside of the vehicle. We know some things we can take from here. This tape is one of them. Well, cloud compartment is another remove the fuse as well and, uh, it's not fiddle with anything else yeah kind of got stuck here last time around because uh, I played around with the controls and uh, sent them on their way back to earth and uh, there's apparently no way to recover from that so uh, restore the background music which is which in terms of the cast cards at least a China that's us Leslie that's the other one Give her her cash card. A race on the scumbag squid is hit in the club of the krell. Sounds like a spell. Mitchell's on the patati quarter. Okay, it's a patati quarter, that's interesting. Minutes of oxygen left. Okay. Let's save a new save here. We're using G, so let's switch to H. Probably have limited time to solve this at this point. Look, <clears throat> does look like a sign, but uh, yeah, we can read it in several alien languages. It's English. Welcome, space travelers. Please leave the friendly hostel as you found it. No gum chewing. Okay. This is our. Airbnb for the night. What does this button do? Find some interesting items in here. It's just a door to the outside. Sadly, you do have to click everything to uh, see if uh, it actually works. Let's see if this closes. Okay.
What does this sign say? Don't be a space school for always wear your spacesuit. Reminded from the friendly hostel. Better off. That's the light. It's also on the other side. I thought plate. Can we pull it off? Can't move it. Can't push it. Can we pick it up? Nothing in here seems to work. There's no cascade reader or anything of that kind over there. Oh, there's something over here. Face area rapid transit, one token each way, a hundred dollars. Token for the mass transit. This is the end of the journey in this direction. See if there's something in the other direction. There's obviously a way to get around Mars. Nothing for to do here. The huge face. Yes, there is. What's here? this one. Okay. Push this one. Push the other two. Fair enough. A 
about the same height, so probably not it. I need something. I'm going to use something to push these buttons. Something like a stick or a, some method of. I'm going to have to push them in a certain order as well. Spit the token out again. Same thing. That's some sort of sensor there on the... Looks like a camera of some sort. like a camera or something that's taking a picture of us but uh, we don't seem to be able to access it a way of refilling the oxygen supply. Hey there DMX, yeah it's a it's a hippie space traveler vehicle. The third transition of the bug. with
with her. I can certainly push this button, but uh, none of the other ones. No. Yep. That's basically the same. Screwed shut. Okay. That's at least a hint. So we need something to unscrew it. to unscrew this don't really have much of anything to do so what do we have we have the helmet which we can't remove or we'll die instantly maybe we can use the token certainly can't use it from the mass started It's a fuse box, okay. We do happen to have a fuse. Pick up the burnt one. Put the one from the bus. Instead, I don't know how to fix it. Close the fuse box. Can we then push this button? Yes, we can. He pressurized the hostile weapons were dead. Is it done move? It's fine. We already figured out what it is that we need to do, so we can basically just go do it again. Did we get the token yet? No. Walk over to the machine. Blue shot, cascade. Slot. Get a token back. Walk back here. Use the token to open up the metal plate with the fuse box. 
the broken fuse. Replace it with a new one. Close it up again. Switch to Leslie. Bring her over to the hostel. The uh, the uh, the closed caption tries its very best. It's uh, it's using Google's algorithm to try to uh, convert my speech to text, which is uh, a valiant effort by Google, and uh, I do try to pronounce pretty clearly, but. Uh, it doesn't always fully work, it's still a lot better for people that uh, can't hear than nothing. Nothing obviously beats having an actual translator, but uh, still better than nothing. Push the button. That went better. I suppose we can uh, take off the helmet at this point. Yeah. That probably doesn't do a great job of that either. What's lacking in most of these solutions is uh, context. And, uh, doesn't really uh, realize what the word that you might be speaking next could be. So we will pick a word that uh, sounds phonetically similar but doesn't actually make any sense in the context. Some sort of locker. doesn't open, of course it doesn't. Nice try using the, uh, trying to use the same item to open it. I don't know what's under the covers, pull the covers. Just a broom. A broom with eyes. It's a dead alien. Yeah. We're gonna need the broom. We need to push these buttons. She doesn't want to pick up the alien, but uh Perhaps her friend will. I'll just pretend it's a broom. Yeah. Fair enough. Suppose we can't do anything with the... Just a second, the top bunk. No way to actually get to it. There's nothing else here. Can't move these covers at all. There's a ladder over on this side as well. What's the point of this? Obviously we're supposed to reach something, but what exactly? Why can we get up this ladder? Can we bring it with us? 
Yeah, we can. We can use it to push that button. Okay, so the broom isn't for doing that. It's for something else. A vinyl tape. Which is the... Build for that. I have no idea how to get into this locker. Open. Good work. Can of gas. It's for a different game. That's nice. There's a flashlight in there, however, that we do need. Okay, we're basically done in here. Obviously, we can't leave this place without putting our helmets back on the, does save on the oxygen a little bit let's get here put our helmets back on just ground control to major tall you really made the great Get them mixed up. Let's uh, close the hostel door. Before opening up this one. So we don't depressurize the hostel itself. And let's Go push some buttons around. Probably save before we start attempting the combinations. Fairly likely that uh, we've been given the combination to this already, but. Sometimes the uh, game is pretty tough to decipher. And it's giving you some sort of hint which one of them. The, at the stairs, obviously the one that we didn't drink. The ladder. Let's see. Whose ladder? Button. Whose ladder on button? There we go. You're not too late. We're just in time. We just started. Started a little bit earlier tonight. The kids were tired. Went right to bed. Push this button. And then this one. Okay.
one. Two. Three. Doesn't do anything. One. Three. Two. Doesn't do anything. Two. One. Three. Doesn't do anything. Two. Three. One. Doesn't do anything. Three. One. Oops, wrong character. One. Two. I think that's the Cairo population. Still doesn't do anything. Leaves. Three. Two. One. All the comfort protection we know where that is in the game. Did we just try all of it? Shall we do another run of this? One. Two. Three. Maybe it all needs to be the same character. One, two, three, one, three, two. It leaves three, two, one. Hmm. Okay, it is possible that uh, we can't open it. Hello there, I make a turn of the gamer. Yeah, I had like subdued, it's only there for a bit. We'll notice up again. Mm. 
spent a bit of time on this. Made no progress at all. Okay, so basically the stair needs to be there, obviously. Well, the ladder needs to be there for us to reach the buttons, but uh, it isn't simply a matter of pushing them. What else is there? Okay, so the boom alien can only Okay, only one of them can use the room alien, that's for sure. Using the room alien at the door doesn't make any sense. if we have to uh... I've never played Zack my first playthrough of this game which is probably why it's taken me 20 hours I had to restart the last stream because uh, we were soft locked If we need to press all of the buttons at the same time, but that wouldn't necessarily work. Oh, so, that means that we need to use the ladder to climb up and press the button. Are this obvious? What are we supposed to do with this vinyl tape though? I was thinking we could uh, tape it shut, but uh, that doesn't seem to be an option.
Oh, I haven't played Maniac, Mani uh, Maniac Mansion either. It's on the list. So, uh, it's on the wheel. Might be the next game for that matter, or one of the Delfana games. Does this have something to do with gaining entrance to this Hall of Illusion? without pitfalls so we've spent an enormous amount of time trying to get here or rather having a purpose to finishing this part playing this or not. There's no effect on this. Entirely possible that there is no way for us to not that hard to find. It was just a uh, hidden on the other end where you arrived. What I'm wondering now is whether it's possible that we have a combination where we need to push the button multiple times. That would really suck. Try one thing here. It's a Tape. <laughs> hey there, long shanks.
Let's put on the fishbowl and use a duct tape on it. Make it airtight. Before traveling to Mars, yeah, you can't read. A minor problem, I'd say. Yeah, this is a great game. I had never played it either, and it's been a ton of fun. I need to put on the oxygen tank before we suffocate here. There we go. This is another one of these rooms. And another one of these strange markings as well. We'll use the yellow crayon on the markings. Which we've done in the past. Operate the door. No, this is definitely the Amiga. In fact, it's this Amiga right here. The Amiga 4000 Tower in all its glory. It's a lot of Amiga. Okay, it's a yet another one of these weird puzzles. This is a tunnel. This is a tunnel, and this is a tunnel. Have to find our way down here somehow. There is a very solid point sack. There is indeed a very solid point. There is no air. So using the uh, there is a PC version yes, and there is a C64 version as well. What do you think the odds are that we find our way here in the dark? It has to guess they're not that great. I'd even say they are uh, pretty, pretty small. So this is the other end of this puzzle. We need to get into this room to give Sack the flashlight. I'm fairly certain the door here is the door to this mess. So the background music is a, a good pretzel just to have something to listen to. Need to get inside this door from here. supposed to be able to solve this
there's no indicator of any sort anywhere that what we're doing is something that we should be doing. Yeah, good night, T Max. Thanks for coming in. Sleep well. One one two two three three. Okay, did nothing. One. amount of different combinations that we could play here. One one two three three two. I'm going to go back to the mod for a bit here. It's uh, one of the advantages of playing this Something that is being recorded. Back in the uh, African hut or in Zaire. I did some weird dance. He taught us how to use the crystal. Did some weird dance. I'm wondering if that dance is a hint to solving this. I did. Very hard to believe that uh, we're supposed to just randomly figure this out. Must have been a hint dropped somewhere. Find a bit. Yeah, it does. It's uh, somewhat similar to Loom. The game that I was, uh, I tried at one point, but I was never really good at it. Some people love it. Might try playing it again on stream. Uh, I got absolutely nowhere. Just to start with. No, I played it for a few hours and I uh, was pretty much stuck. Okay, pretty much at the point in the what of this is going on now. We're giving him the the club. Play this precious golf with. Uh, at which point, the sacred dance taught to us by the ancient ones. This is interesting.
sort of see it now, right? That's three to one, one, three, one. Three to one, one, three, one. Wasn't that what we saw? Let's try that. Bingo. Okay. It's good to be right once in a while in this game. Yeah, when we were doing this weird ritual dance at the time, I figured this must be some sort of a combination to something we had already done, the Cairo one, where uh, you had to press a combination. I'm sure there's a hint for that one as well, but that one was fairly easy. This one, however, not quite as. Whether we should both go in here. I assume that's a good idea, let's uh, drop the ladder before we go in, we might need to use it inside. Never leave a man behind, as they say. And we close this. Exit. No. I assume we can't breathe in here either. Let's save and find out. I'll probably die. Nope, he can't. Okay. In this huge hall. Massive door. Set up the alarm. Play cool ear stuff, those old aliens you're played here now, okay. That's interesting. Should we record that? I noticed with the dot that uh, we're able to record stuff. <sighs> hey there, Will. Welcome in. Thanks for the raid. Welcome in, Score Squad. Hope you guys are doing well on this fine Wednesday evening. I'm going to assume that uh, you might have been playing Darkest Dungeon. Just 
just a wild, wild guess. Hey there, Ava, welcome in. A mod with the most, Ava Clampire. Hope you guys had a fun stream. We uh, started a little bit early tonight. I was looking forward to the, uh, this iteration of this playthrough. It's been uh, two weeks. I took the boys uh, out north to my grandfather's old cabin. Spent a week there. And the nicest weather that uh, we've had in a while here in Iceland. Hey there, Revy, welcome in. We started uh, nine ish UTC on this game. We've already figured a little bit out. We figured how to get into this door on Mars. figured out how to uh, get inside this door yeah if you aren't already following Will Torres you should very easy to listen to great interaction with the chat plays Parker's Dungeon and uh, the occasional horror game usually on Fridays you should definitely go give him a follow also a regular here and uh, VIP, of course. Um, I was going to turn on the phone box. After putting the tape in, set it on record. Won't record. Start this right protect. Fell out. Perhaps that's what the uh, tape is for. Might be what the tape is for. That's what the tape is for. Use the digital audio tape with the boombox. Turn on the boombox. Record. And let's remove this crystal sphere. Thanks, Mark and Dane. It's uh, taking us a while to get here, but. Uh, Slowly making our way here. Now we caught that on tape. Assume that's the whole point. She does this. Uh, she did this speech when we played it back earlier in another save, where uh, she mentioned that uh, the music was popping, and uh, she gave that speech again when she heard the crystal go off. So I assume the point is to record it. I'm doing great. It's been a uh, Decently good day. Where are we here? What are we supposed to do? Okay, we're here. Is this the other end of the, the puzzle that the sack was trying to solve? multiple doors like this. There are three of these doors. I assume I'm going to have to open all of them. Okay.
What's the markings on this one? Nice echo sound. She's walking around. pictures impossible to tell what to do here yeah good night man you sleep well have a nice rest of the evening that's uh Stayed with her. Stayed with Leslie here. Malita Ladder. Open up the other ones. I assume they're supposed to record them as well. Not sure if we can actually open all of them, but uh, we'll try. Just a pedestal. I can't actually open this one up. Oh. something here would allow us to open it up so what this one however is similar there's a blue crystal up here Similar thing. It does. And we play it back to the third door, right? Because the door is listening to the trigger of the crystal. So if we play the tune to the door in the middle where the crystal is missing, that opens that door. doors where do we go next I have 
to bring Nestle along as well. Just carrying some of the items that we might need. Not sure if they both need to go in here, but there's no obvious loss. Splitting the duties here. Save right here before venturing in here. I have a feeling we have very much a finite time to finish this. We'll run out of oxygen at some point. He does have the flashlight that we pilfered from the hostel. a little bit, we're able to see where it is, where we're going. Only one exit here. What's this? Some sort of device. Got something that we'll probably need to use somewhere else. Like a little key. This is a very short side step here in the middle. Assume the next step is to go to the rightmost door. Opened up all three of them. Let's go in here. I have to remember to turn off the flashlight. has a finite battery life. It's obvious where this ANK key fits. It's supposed to go here. There's a golden key. And an even larger one. Okay. So at least this one. Pretty sure there's no locksmith nearby. This screen doesn't have much in the way of audio, it has no background music for example, at least not for large periods of time. But uh, the little audio it does have is very relevant and uh, pretty good. What are we supposed to do with this glass too? Nothing. What is this weird device? If it doesn't matter. If it's just a key that we need from this part. One door, the leftmost door.
Okay, this one. Nice. Five different doors. Golden, shall we uh, follow the golden doors? The game is a huge fan of these maze like Ridley puzzles, and you have to find your way through some sort of maze. There are only two of them here. There's a blue one. This is a path, but it's sometimes very difficult to find it. Difficult to tell because you don't have full light. Where you're going, even in, even in the right direction, can't really tell the rooms apart. Past this statue thing. Usually there are levels to the thing, so you can tell where you are in a way by looking at the backgrounds and the pictures. Sure, this one took us back. And it's probably the other one. Let's take us through a green door, which is in the first room, right? Go back here, back at the start. Oh. Seems similar, but isn't. The blue one there, walking from level. Which is the one we came through. Put our money on the golden one now.
the door at the end of this corridor. These rooms all look exactly the alike. There's a pink one over here. And we can go out here. I've been in here before. a huge fan of these puzzles. I find them pretty disorientating and uh, mostly stumble your way eventually but uh, fairly annoying. In this case it's uh, actually very very difficult to tell where it is it's supposed to be going where we came in. Been here before. This I think we have. I've been more sure in my life. Must say, I keep going in circles. Back in the first room, four different doors, and this doorway over here as well. Creatures, at least another two more actually. Is this a short school that always ends up in the same room? is yeah it is blue gold green Pick a path, any path. Go well down, follow pink this time around. You see a pink path, we'll go through it. Can't pick pink now. steps but uh, every once in a while you do die. This is doubly difficult because she really needs to go back and show us the way. Okay. 
did we come in? Came in through the gold, right? Just a, that's our good friend Pretzel. Isn't Melissa in this room right now? Why? Why can't she see where it is we're going? It might not be quite as much. So, we're gonna have to walk this blindly, it's the first door, the pink one. So, she'll have to go through, just be absolutely sure we're in the same room. We'll go through the first door, she finds, and they should be... What? Where the hell is she? She's not on the... Okay, she's not at the same door. Haha, <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, Eva. By all means, get better. Get some rest and uh, try to recover. Thanks for being here. Wonderful to see you. See you again Friday. What could... Uh, Potentially be the last of the lands of war. I think we're actually pretty close to finishing that one as well. Struggled a ton. The last playthrough we have a difficult puzzle to solve there. Something to do with uh, various items and leaving them behind. First door here. And then we took the blue one. Yeah, she can actually see her now. We took the blue door. Was at the bottom of this corridor, right? Yeah. Should see her, right? Yeah. the blue door now yeah, they're in the same place and then we took the pink one again this is the center one this one yeah that took a while a zillion miles to the bottom let's not worry about that right now get a fight that's less than great All the trouble of getting both of them in the same room. Because I'm fairly sure we need to push both of these switches at the same time. Let's use up the 
last save game here. Temperature is way too cold, air pressure is dangerous. Okay. Push. It's racing what? Here, it's just a minute part of this puzzle. Reach the point where we can take off the helmet. That's about it. There's only part of this marble puzzle. Nowhere near done with this yet. Pink door. to assume there are multiple exits to this madness. This is on yet another room. of modern technology to uh, take a picture of this coloring. There's sort of a map on uh, with the yellow crystal that Sack has. Looks like the Egyptian Sphinx, yes it does. Here. It doesn't really tell us where we are though. It 
I doubt we can do anything with this at this current moment in time. going down the green doors now. Yeah, we have two characters on Mars. And, uh, Sack can make his way to Mars as well, but uh, he gets locked in a room, and I'm fairly sure that he needs the flashlight con to continue. So I'm fairly sure the point of at least a part of this exercise is. Uh, is making our way to the same location where he is so we can uh, give him the flashlight so he can continue with uh, what, it is, what it is that he needs to do as well. Although I'm just guessing, but, uh, pretty sure we need at least three of the characters here on Mars. Should write this down. Write down the paths that we go, so otherwise we have no way of tracing it. It's very easy to uh, walk in circles here. But the only certain thing is that if you walk left for a bit, you end up here. That uh, pink, blue, pink will lead us to the lever room. We've been there.
gold. Pink is what we've done so far. Circles. It's just so hard to tell right now. You can only see a tiny part of the room. you will need to uh, remember what path you took it's more difficult than it was previously so you could sort of stumble your way to the end uh, not having to give much thought to doing it again but uh, now I think you need to have a pretty good idea of exactly where it is that you went her outside of this room so we know when we get here where we are Same room again. There she is. So to get here, we chose pink, blue, pink.
Yeah. Oh, it's pink, blue, pink, green, right. Takes us to this room. But now uh, we at least know how to get to two of them. This is not the same room. Are we now back in the same room? Yes, we are. So, pink, blue, pink, blue gets us here. Yeah, it's, it's combinations of colors get through the maze. Pink blue, pink blue now. So if there's something here. Oh, this is just the same. Okay. This leads to the same room. So from this room, it doesn't matter as we where it is that we go. Doesn't seem to matter whether we take the green door out of this. Or the blue one. Oh, I guess it's possible that uh, the blue one is actually the right one. If we walk back to the end of this, find our way back in that other room. Yeah, that's the blue one. Doesn't matter which way we go. Yeah, they're fond of the color mixing. had lots of fun in Monkey Island too with the mixing of the drinks for the various different colors. Someone at LucasArts is uh, fond of these color puzzles with different... Yeah. This is a different room as well. It's a gold door, a green door. 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 Exit. Get us back to it. Okay. Okay. There are multiple ways to go here. Let's pick one. First one on the agenda is another pink one. Where are we now? Okay, we're right back here. It's not where we're supposed to go. Pink one, I know where that goes. Blue one. Uh, that's 
Microsoft Group takes us to the same room again. We have a golden door here as well. And also circle. No. Takes us back here. Okay. Pink one, try the blue one, there's a green one and a gold one. Try the green one first. It takes us to this room. Two doors here, the green one and the gold one. the start of the level right going back it's a circle at least back in the same room Yeah, Angel Jones and the last crusade. I have played it, yes. I don't really like the uh, the action bits of it. Uh, like the rest of it. Now we're just aimlessly wandering around here, which is a sort of an eye. Yeah, that's one way of doing it, but uh, it seems rather pointless, to be honest. It uh, doesn't really, if it's uh, supposed to make you more engaged with the game, that's uh, not really it. And uh, those of us who play adventure games, we mostly just want to play adventure games, figure out puzzles and stuff. We uh, were looking for a fighting game, we would play Street Fighter. Final Fight or uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or some other of the fighting games, there are plenty of them. This is a room that appears to have only one door, which is suspicious. Is it perhaps the end of the world as we know it? And do we feel fine? Those are one of the questions. There's only one door here, a green door. Let's go through this golden door here. Uh, leads us to what is essentially a dead end. This is back the way we came, right? We to assume we can't make further headway down this path. So
Okay. We have uh, done the pink door. Two baits. There are other doors here. Probably does, which is why I keep going back to the start. So, try this golden path here. Gold leads us here. We go home with a pink door. Blue door. Maybe two doors, either blue or pink. Gold, pink. Came in the green one. Oh, we have a choice of gold, pink, gold. Gold, pink, blue. Let's go for gold, pink, gold for now. It's gold, pink, gold. And we can sort of pick pink again. Gold pink, gold pink. Probably leads us in a circle. Yeah. Just came right when we came in. This is the blue one, right? Yeah. That leads us right back here. Okay. Might not be another room, that's one of the options. Might have found all of them. Um, it Try to make my way out again. Usually just going left a few times does eventually take you out. Okay, we tried gold pink. Right, gold, pink, gold. You can also pick gold, pink, blue. Okay, that takes us right there as well.
is gold blue. From which we have a few ways. It's gold blue green. in here right yeah there's gold blue green let's try that now fairly certain there aren't much more than three combinations that you need to try Possibly be it. No. Old blue, green blue. Idea where we are, it's very easy to get disoriented a bit. Okay, gold. Tried gold, blue, green. Okay. I think we also tried gold, blue, blue. Yeah. None of these gets us anywhere. They say all paths lead to Rome. Good batteries in this flashlight, at least. Check out the green door. Let's try combinations of the green door. See where that leads us. Do green, green. Green, 
Hidden Green is an option. This is where we came in, right? Yeah. Green, green, green. Going in circles by always going through the green door. I think we are. Yeah, we are. Fuck. Of course we might be missing some option. It's very hard to keep track of what we have done. I'm trying very hard to hope. This is probably a dead end. Yeah, it is a dead end. Let's just go back to the first screen and leaves this blue door over here. Leaves blue. Basically, and we have lots of options. Blue, gold, blue is one of them. Room. I'm fairly sure we've been here before. Yeah, we have. This is the ongoing path back to the green door. Yeah. So blue, gold, blue is a circle. And these blue, gold, gold. And blue, gold, gold, pink is one option.
there are so many possible options here in this maze. Very difficult to do this without a map, without any sort of obvious way of identifying the rooms that used to be a thing in the earlier puzzles in this game. There were different decorations in the different rooms, so you could, uh, could tell them apart by that. Sometimes do that now by the pattern of the colors on the doors, but uh, it's very tough. Particularly when you don't even see the entire room every time. But I'm fairly certain that blue gold is a dead end. What else is there? isn't really anything else. We've tried blue gold blue. Now we tried blue gold gold. Now there's blue gold pink. See if we can bring Melissa to this room. It really be all that difficult. Wondering if there's something she can do here. Yes, it does. I already know that. I know this. Maybe this is a hint. Maybe this is a map of this maze. I see it again. I'm 
sort of makes sense. Leave her in here. I know where she is. Let me know. Uh, I'll close this Get picture. Yeah, she probably did. Oh no. I still remember the uh, Christmas that Lemmings came out. I had such a fantastic time playing that game. But so very, very different from all the other games we had played. Fast deadly puzzles and uh, was the element of laughter as well when you accidentally wiped out an entire troop of them by making a silly mistake somewhere. Great, great game that was. This Might need to adjust the size on this just a little bit here. I think like it's a bit big. But, uh, just basically the map. If it is a map, it might be a map. And if it is a map, then let's go to the start of this mess. Try to figure our way through it. Getting out of it is not a huge pain in the ass. Simply just go left. Okay. If we assume that uh, we're at the uh, this end here, the farthest end here. Rotated 90 degrees. Are we at this side of the map here? So if we go here through the pink door.
orientate myself in this map. We are to assume it is even a map. Might not be. We have nothing to go on, so we have to figure this out somehow. This is definitely one of the far ends of the map. For sure. This does suggest there are three potential rooms that we can enter, one of which we've already entered, or two of which we've already entered, plus the where we go in. But they also lead in a continuous circle. I think it's safe to assume that the two on the left side, the way this is rotating now, are the, uh, the cage chamber, where we are right now. And the map room, the map of the swings is. Further than this, now go upwards. So this makes any sense. It doesn't necessarily have to make any sense. So obviously we can't go downwards either. But I suppose it gives us a sense of direction away Is this so tough? Back in the same room here, no. Highly the same. No, this is Pretzel, it's a music service, gives us a nice ambient tone to listen to while we struggle through this puzzle. 
it's a, it's a playlist they make with a ambient soft and quiet background music I use it quite a bit it's a it's a commercial service but uh, you can use it for free if you uh, if you announce every tune that you play in the chat it uh, wasn't that expensive when I bought it I think it's gone up in price since been lots of DC made takedowns and uh, it's getting increasingly more difficult to find legal sources of something you can play in the background even some games you can no longer play the music to seems kind of silly so fair use seems to have gone out of the window a bit room here which uh, doesn't have any sort of doesn't seem to have any sort of exit is in fact at an end no way of getting out is a little bit suspicious so easy to get lost in this mess Constant or if you follow blue, pink, blue, and you find your way over here, if you then go blue again, 
find your way over this side. I'm going to try to do as well. Using this golden key. Continue what we can. But yeah, there's anywhere. Not on this side at least. I feel as if we're supposed to do something in here. Funny how a hair merges with the palette on the map, so uh, it appears to be headless. And, uh, there appears to be a sort of a road here on the map. Ran out of unique colors. very much but uh, I want to try switching back to shark I'm using the I'll go here what does this take us is that Can't go here. No. There are places we can't go, but we can go here. Known as the Mars Base Chamber. Put on the, uh, the gear before I did this. Sorry. Uh, with on fish bowl oxygen tank use okay or do we have perhaps not need to do so no 
they don't because the girls have already been here the girls have already been here and they've already turned this on for us that tells us we're in the same place now this room is closed off so maybe we do need to finish off this carving open the doors maybe that's why we can't see it because the doors are closed we can go three ways here we're in the tunnels now of course we can't well we can use the lighter now we can use the lighter because girls have already been here yeah Girls have already been here and, and so forth. There's now air pressure inside of here. So we can find our way out of here. Okay. Of course, that's the missing bit. Let's go. make our way to the pink doors go blue pink blue or similar so we find our way correct chamber Zach welcome to Mars it's about time you got here I'll say Give me a break. I've been busy saving the earth and solving puzzles. So Leslie, right? Right. You must be Melissa. That's me. I have lots to do and not much time, so let's hurry. Okay. Now, it's the map from his dream. That's right. This seems like a good place to save. Fairly certain we need to use the yellow crayon on this. Strange marking here. No, okay. We're supposed to use the yellow crystal inside of this room. Or are we supposed to draw this map? Where is our silly little map here? I think it has a map on it. not the same picture as it was before there is a bit missing from it we rotate it here and it is the same way it was before it was like this it looks slightly different now isn't it oh, okay it's exactly the same sorry Does look like the Egyptian Sphinx. Okay. 
Okay. We still can't get to the Mars Pyramid. Just gets us back here. Ah, oh, that's right. Yeah. Does he need the broom to? We have to uh, use the crystal to get back. Of course, this brings another element into the game, which is uh, swapping items between the two planets. Of course, we have to find our way through this again, but uh, it really isn't that difficult. Spent way too long wandering around here looking for another solution. In fact, there isn't one. Uh, sort of what we do in these games. We overanalyze these puzzles and uh, make them too difficult. Try to see if we can. You have to take either the green or gold exit here. Middle one is probably the one that we should take. Take the pink. And this takes us right here. In here, on that, and we can take the blue and walk our way over to this side. Switch to Leslie. She has the broom alien. He doesn't want the broom alien. She can give him the golden key. And the flashlight. The token and the ladder. Not so much the boombox. Okay, so we have some additional items to try out on the other side. I suppose we can also make Sack Venture back. I 
maybe he has some way of activating the uh, subway travel. Let's not let's save right here before we go back using the crystal. It's a bit annoying that we can't end up in the same place. So fine. See if we can uh, reach that switch. Oh, we have to fix this. We still don't have the white crystal. not really an option. Okay. Semi pointless. Let's try to make our way out of the maze with Sack. See what we can do on Mars as Sack. We have lots of items that they didn't have. All we have to do is uh, get out of this mess is to burn our fingers quite a bit. Try to follow, just keep going left, we'll eventually find our way out. No trick as to the, uh, the forest bit. Getting out is relatively easy. I'm sure we stumble though. Wasn't there a carving on this statue here as well? picture <laughs> thanks for redeeming a big video well Someone redeemed it uh, a long time ago and uh, it wasn't obvious enough, so I increased the pixelation. It's very obvious now. Put on fishbowl. Put on oxygen tank. Use duct tape. Not quick enough. I'm going to find a way out of this mess again. It won't take us that long though. Switch to sack. Let's get out. We could now at least, long sharks. 
make it very obvious at this point. Don't really need the lighter for this bit. Just uh, keep going left. It's either the last doorway or we go to the leftmost exit in the room now we'll eventually find our way out yeah now, let's try to prepare ourselves before we go out there now need to put on the fishbowl I'm gonna need to put on the oxygen tank and we're going to need to use the duct tape on the fishbowl. This is our homemade spacesuit. Really nice. This is supposed to be Mars. something with this sand here we have a token to use with this with this tram thing uh, spits out the token again Play the kazoo with the bowl on our head. use the heart yeah there's no way to wear the disguise while we have to
see something here. That we hadn't done. Fishbowl and oxygen tank. How much oxygen do we in fact have left? And it's I want the can of gas. What the game he says. really nothing else to do here. Close to me where's the vinyl tape that we had before. Where could we use that? She has the room alien, she didn't want to give that up. Here's the cross cut in my head. Here's the food box in the back. Can I keep the vinyl tape to suck? Okay, I'm gonna need to put this on again, close this door. The door to Mars is dead. up our oxygen supply this was here how much does he have now 14 minutes Close to having a solution to this though.
picking up what a monolith is. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Can't use the tram. Why is that? Puzzle is not on the outside here, at least not where it appears. Pretty much on a full circle here. Well, there is something else that we need to solve in here, some piece of the puzzle that we haven't figured out. Take off a mask and the oxygen tank. Suck to either of these rooms. Let's do that now. No maze involved here, it's basically just a attempt it's basically where we found the key seems to be precious little here other than that particular bit but uh, there was a little bit more in the other room on the right side This game keeps surprising you, there is always an extra element to it, when you think you're the world you're completing it, there's plenty to do. Imagine that this game actually came out from an 8-bit platform. Given the uh, sheer size and difficulty of it. Back here. This is where we put the key in. It's a weird glass tube here.
possibly do with this glass tube, if anything. This really does is close the door. I'm sure there's a hint to be derived from some of this. And, uh, I can't quite figure it out. Doesn't want to uh, doesn't want to draw the map in the other room. The going there again is pretty pointless. Let's revisit these uh, sites again. This is where the uh, where the chandelier was that uh, holds the crystals in place. Get that one out. Go to the Egyptian pyramid from here. In there from that. Put that T-shirt.
This one isn't fully completed. Missing a piece, but the Wondering where we could potentially use this key we have. What does that fit? How do we use this key? thing He has limitless, a limitless supply of batteries. The real left of the two little reacts with the animals. Go back to San Francisco. A bit. Running out of money is uh, difficult at this point. As we have this crystal, we can travel between planets without using a flight. No easy way to use the crystal to get to San Francisco, no. few places where I'm so poor that we haven't been able to access.
as they say, that ain't it. Nothing in here. Ah, for Man Maniac Mansion, no, you can't help us at all. I'm gonna cheat in the lottery today. We already bought all the dumb stuff in your store. You know, for a fact, you don't want to buy any of our dumb stuff, so nothing to say to each other. Guys here, walks into the phone company, the headquarters for the aliens. Why, hello there. Nothing here that we could potentially use any of this on, right? We have a message on our machine. What do we do with any sort of hint right now? We do, but it's probably just our mother again. The message of boss calling, how's the squirrel story coming? Yeah, we're not doing that great on that one. Yeah, we're about to get fired. I better see some great copy on my desk soon. It was a crummy job anyway. that we would only see with a flashlight. What I have done is that I'll uh, more in this game than in probably any other game that I've ever streamed. I've gone back to the watts and I've watched myself playing the game because often you know, miss something when you're playing it the first time because uh, you don't have the story or you haven't completed the puzzle and when you watch it again brain makes a connection between the puzzle you're struggling with and some item that you found uh, that 
this is pretty much not the case right now, at least. Can't get through this door. Okay. The Egyptian pyramid. That's an option. You can certainly send Annie there. Fairly certain we're supposed to do so. So I can obviously uh I remember why we left Annie there. We left her there because it didn't have anything to top on the bus with. That's why she didn't make a journey over to the uh, over to the pyramid. Let's do this again. How much money do we have on the cash card? Yeah, we have plenty of money today. Fine. It's uh, her that we need to worry about a little bit. This is relatively cheap. I wonder if we could actually buy her a ticket in our name. Probably not. She can't win the lottery either. This bus driver really is a bozo. Yeah, it does again. Let her on. He doesn't actually. We're gonna use Crystal Express. Cheaper, easier, more convenient. Now, how much money does she in fact have? Thirty-seven fifty, basically. Let us save before continuing. Use reservation terminal. I don't remember precisely how to get there. Uh, I think one of the ways was to go to London from there over to Egypt. We no doubt have to do this, at least I'm fairly certain, because the switch uh, turns off moments after we activate it and uh, we can't access the switch on the other side, so I'm fairly certain that uh, both Annie and Zack actually need to be there to continue with that puzzle, but I'm also fairly certain that, uh, that we do need to have all the crystal pieces in place be able to do so, so I think going there is uh, premature, but uh, we might as well 
prepare ourselves. I think we can go there now because we've already opened up the door. Gone in. But she can't go there unless Sack has gone there before. This nonsense again. As I seem to remember, this is just a question of following the the sun. Will you get there? Pretty much. I don't remember in details exactly how we got there. I think that was basically it. Here in this weird little room, you can see you can read these. Let's push the right button, push the left button. Right, left, middle. That's right. Three, one. Start again. Three, one. What? Picture of that as well. Yeah, but we can't if we get that. How did we? Is there another way to get to where Saki is now? Yeah, 
I wasn't there. There should be something on the other side, some secret on the other side of the pyramid that we landed. Back here again. This is a map of the Martian pyramid, she says. to prove that Let's find our way back We could have solved this puzzle at the time by letting Sack go here before her, open up the door, and then have her walk the way through until he was able to read the instructions on the wall. Almost that could have gotten us through that puzzle without trial and error. Never mind, you know, he solved it. Getting out of this soon enough now. Another we did struggle to get out again. Isn't quite as simple as getting in here. Again. No, not quite, not steady. Words can't describe how tired I am of these really weird maze like puzzles again and again and again, multiple places in this game. Obfuscated for no apparent reason. I've been here before. I think we're almost out now. Try following the path of the three men, see if that eventually leads us out of this mess. Following the sun gets us in. See if following this gets us out. This one is more difficult because simply going to the left doesn't really work in this one. 
we just let this thing go in circles if we do so. Also enter the uh, Ricardian of the Swing sleep slightly. Uh, it's uh, what happens if you enter the wrong combination. And top of the Sphinx monster. I think this is actually where we're supposed to go. Yeah, there is. But in this little bit here. Uh, there was no way to get out of this room. Except for Sack traveling with the crystal. We can uh, the lever, push the switch, switch to sack, push the other switch. Probably nothing will happen. Don't have the crystals in place, so nothing happens. the theory is correct we have two of these I doubt anything will happen but we'll try anyway so I'm missing the last one we need to take the yellow one back traveling and leave the blue one there so I don't need any there anyway this is probably the last thing she will do in the game, but there's a big but something that we have to do on Mars that we haven't figured out yet. this way and this way, we might as well try this way now. Just in case we have them. Somewhere else. Well, this looks eerily familiar. Yeah, I know where this room is. This is the end room where we only had the one green door, but we were right. This is the end. We couldn't access it because that door was closed. But that uh, reaffirms that theory. Back here. I'm really certain that if there's something to be done, in here, we're supposed to do it with the two of them. They are here. Uncomfortably well aware of my surroundings in this maze. Yeah, it looks like a map of ancient earth is all fine and dandy and what's in this location then? 
where is this? Because this is this is the bit on the map that we can't access. So what would be here? Google Ancient Earth Map. To really specify where in time this map would be. There are multiple places here which would correspond with the map that we already have. like the swings we've been in there what is this this is the door where we entered what is this never been there what's there Just so happens to be here. Center down. Is there another door to be accessed there? If so, how is it that we gain entrance? Is the doorway. Other side, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is the uh, this is the pyramid, the Earth pyramid, which is intrinsically linked to the Mars one, I suspect. Uh, this is the swings based on this something right about here right this is the door Maybe it's just supposed to be that room that we eventually find ourselves in, which has all the markings and the carvings of Mars. Could be, it doesn't appear to be any sort of door there in any case. There's no keyhole or anything of the kind that you could potentially use this key in either. It 
to that. Go back there anyway. Because here there's still that's really solution to this problem in some way. But we do need Annie here. Can't leave this room without her. Needs to get in there and close the uh, close the entryway from the other side. to be able to make his way out of here without having to travel all the way back here. Let's try giving a key to Annie, see if she... Oh, comment on it at all. We already tried it. in here either there's something here we can actually take a slightly better look at some of these rooms really isn't That's it, we go again. Can't get close to any of this, and there's nothing happening in any of these spots. Oh, I don't think that's how the second entryway, I think this is it. Can't read this right. No. She could. Now we know getting there is the easy part. All on the way of the sun. Back here. Yeah. I already tried these. These are basically the different mazes in the game. I 
really don't see what else is here for us. No matter where we are, there's always the same predictable behavior. Yeah, we're definitely stuck here. Definitely stuck. Going to have to go back and rewatch these watts. a bit of a break for now. Been at it for like four hours now. Let's see who's on. I'm not gonna finish this one tonight. Once more. Yeah this is a great game. Absolutely core of a game. So we're very close to completing it, but uh, there is a missing piece somewhere, something that we're not find, figuring out. Who's on? What are they doing? Navika Live is playing Pirates. Yeah, thanks for coming, Will. Thanks again for the rate as well. Checking some of the teams. Are you doing something? To see, let's go head over to Amiga Live. He's rated me before, he has some sort of auto rate going on. Pirates is a fun game, if you haven't seen it, you definitely should try playing it. One of the Chip Mayer classics. I'll set up the rate. Thanks for coming, guys. Have an excellent rest of the night. See you back here on Friday for more Lands of the Lore. Similarly tough times we're having in that game at the moment. Hopefully we'll wrap it up on Friday. Until then, later.